Shan Wu, uh, if, if Donald Trump hadn't become president with what you saw uh, come out of the Cohen uh, 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 case, if Donald Trump hadn't been, become president, do you think he would have been charged? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the only thing that's keeping him from being indicted as an indicted co-conspirator uh, is the fact that he's a sitting president of the United States. There's no question about that. And um, to, to Norm's point, what Michael Cohen actually said in court makes it a really open and shut case. I mean, he said that he was directed to do these things to deliberately try to influence the outcome of the election. So that's really just a textbook case of the uh, campaign finance. He, he, he also uh, said, uh, Shan, that, uh, that uh, Cohen said the president basically conspired with him. That's a completely separate charge, isn't it? Uh, yes. Uh, he, or could uh, be. We, right. We refer to him as an unindicted co-conspirator. And in this case, I think what you'll see a lot made of that is possibly in the report Mueller does if if this makes it into it it's an interesting question as to whether his report about the russian probe um would include any of this information or not i mean he clearly has access to it uh there's a little bit of a misconception that there's some kind of wall between Mueller and the southern district there, there's absolutely not i mean they can communicate freely for all we know um Cohen has already been interviewed by Mueller's people, and certainly his lawyers would have um, been making proffers uh, to them if asked. Yeah. Uh, Cohen's not in any position to hold back anything at this point. Norm